Hey everyone, we're back with what's sold for our uh, online e-commerce business, not just eBay anymore. Uh, this is my beautiful wife, Linda. I'm Cameron. These are our weekend sales, Friday through Sunday, are the things we sold that we picked up at mostly garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, online auctions, wherever we can find stuff to make some money. I don't know what the numbers are today, babe. How did we do? So on Poshmark, we had one sale for $33.00 plus shipping hmm. and then we had 36 sales on ebay for just under 11.65 so not too bad definitely kind of an average day i'm happy we got some else on posh this linda knows this guy was going back and forth literally yeah, i don't even like if they They'd go I up wish like they every two dollars two dollars limits like on ebay where you only have so many offers but it literally kept going I declined no, a couple because they were I'm so like, low and then eventually we fi they finally started moving up and now we we sold it so I'm glad it sold. Uh, nothing on Mercari, but I did do a little cross-posting last week, but not much. So that's really the only reason I think we're not seeing as good numbers is I haven't put enough listings up there. So i got to work on that. But we'll do Poshmark first, unless you want to say something. She looks lovely, doesn't she? She got her hair dyed a little more, so it's more uh, vibrant orange. So she's keeping the roots because I made a comment. <clears throat> Guys, if you make a comment on anything to your wife, she will hold to that for you. And now she like says that she keeps her roots like this just because I made one comment one time. So, I gotta live with that. Anyway, because she'd rather have it all on. Um, only item that's sold on Poshmark. This is a pair of Bernie bib overalls. Brand new. Brand new with the tags. Um, and so they sold for $33 plus shipping. They were 5 bucks. So, I don't know what... I think it said we were going to make $26 or something on the deal. Something like that. And then um, minus the 5 So, yeah, pretty good for a $5 buy. And they've been on eBay as well. Now we'll get into the eBay stuff. First up is a Build-A-Bear. This is the Bernie Kennel Pals. Oh, he looks adorable. Or Bernie Kennel Pals. I don't know. It's weird. Baramies. Baramies? Baramies. Like Bar Jeremy, but Baramies. Baramies Kennel Pals. Um, cute little wolf with beautiful blue eyes. And he sold for 1994. Great year. I don't know how much I even pay for that a dollar. Some Build-A-Bear do well, some don't. It just yeah. depends on which ones you have. Because yeah, obviously you don't want a regular bear like everybody else in the world. The thing is, you know, this guy is probably over a pound. So when it's all said and done, what we make like five or six bucks, really not that great for the plush. Yeah. But he sells. Either way. Next up, we have a Action Whoa. something. Got the wrong one. Uh, it's this a diecast car right here. And it is Ma Dale Earnhardt number three, Man in Black. And it is sealed. It is from the Rolling Stones buy, and it sold for $22. It's like a Dale Earnhardt and a Johnny Cash like collab here because they're both on there. But this one's from a big NASCAR stuff that we got. I don't know. I got it from my main source, but I forgot what else I bought. Uh, but a bunch of stuff, and that sold for whatever it did. And we already got positive feedback, so that's yeah. just crazy. And they have a bunch of feedback, so I'm not sure. Obviously, they know the process, but anyways. <laughs> Next up, we got a pair of yearbooks. These are the ones Cameron was like, oh, I hope we have those. Um, I couldn't remember these ones. This is a 1988 <laughs> to 89 uh, Will Rogers Middle School yearbook and a 1978 to 1988 uh, Will Rogers Middle School yearbook. Both of them are. Oh, that one should be 1987, not 78. Oh, okay. But I'm sure they knew. to 88 and 88 to 89. I'm like, 78? There's no... Dude, if you're, you're, a long if you're time. in middle school for 10 years, you got a problem, man. <laughs> but the pair sold for just under $51. This one's coming loose. The good thing about yearbooks, obviously, is sometimes people will be looking for one. And if you have two... Usually when you can find them, you can find like a couple in multiple years. So sometimes you get lucky and they'll you buy... tell that a middle schooler had this one because it colored and sharp. Yeah, well, and they, per, and they wrote on the front all their stuff, but... Sometimes they will buy two, so that's kind of a better deal there. So we got two out, happy about that, and I'm glad to see them go. Your books are slow at times, but when they do come through, good money. Yep. Next up, we got a new Tags Fox shirt. It is red, and it is a bestie buy out of the lot of a bunch of clothes by Fox. Fox this shirt, Hurley. Hoodie, this shirt actually came from that buy. Um, and those sold for twenty dollars. We spent twenty five bucks. We sold the shirts for like fifty or sixty bucks, whatever. I think it was. that was sixty for that. Six yeah, lot. and then we got that one for twenty. That's eighty. And then we had a bunch of hats, and then I actually I kept a bunch of the tank top ones, um, just to have something. So that's how it goes. He's getting to really like wearing tank tops. I do like them. I don't. I don't know if I look good in a tank top. That's just I don't have the uh, you know the buff body, but they are comfortable, especially when it's hot. 
So. There's other YouTubers that wear tank tops that don't look so good to me. Well, to each their own. Anyways, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Tank tops for, <laughs> tank tops for all? <laughs> Hashtag tank tops for all. It's only fair. Next up is one of those fakey scam bands. This scam one bands. sold for $12 shipped. Guys, we paid a dollar. We keep selling them. I'm so glad I picked them up. I think we got 16 or 17 of them and 12 bucks so far every time. Service manual from the manual. $700 box. manual buy. This is a 2003 Honda Element manual and that one sold for $80 shipped. And that one's used. So pretty good for one, a used one. We'll take it. Then we got the This little... is funny. I don't know if everybody would have listed this. This is the adhesive swivel mount for the Sirius XM Onyx, um, and it sold for nine and a half ship. Yeah, I was thinking I offered a watchers a five percent off or something, but I bought the whole unit. We sold the receiver for fifteen shipped. They're all they're all brand new sealed. This for nine, and I only spent five, and I have a couple other parts to sell. So good money parting out the little pieces. Well, those are the ones that always like the sticky will get bad, or it drops and they lose it or something. Or maybe they have two cars and like they only have one and they want to bring it back, you know, oh, to sorry. either car or whatever, something like that. So, okay. Next up, a uh, Shark Rotator Professional Vacuum Canister. And that one sold for 25 and a half. Eight. Luckily, this one is smaller. Yeah, it is. Uh, when I saw this sell for 25, I'm like, oh man, why is it like that? If I was thinking it was much bigger, this is the small one. So we'll, we'll make a ton. The canisters are really hard unless they're a super good model because the shipping can eat away at it. But this will probably still cost 14 to ship. We'll make a little bit of money. Uh, but I don't usually spend more than $5 for the vacuum to part it out. I get them really cheap, so that way there's plenty of room for profit. Next. Next up is a pair of Converse All Stars. These are the super high tops all the way up to the knee. These are kids, though, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. these are the kids because they have the zipper on them. Yeah. Um, and the zipper, these are size two and a half. They are leopard print and they sold for $30 shipped. Yeah, they're going to like Converse buyer or something. I don't know. They got like Converse in their name. Converse lovers. So they're like collectors, I guess. But hey, at least they can get them out of our store. Yep. Next up, we got a military Bible. It's got camo all over it, and it was the a bestie Bible. Challenge box. edition. And it sold for $12 shipped. 12 bucks, and a bubble mailer it goes. Then we got a knife block here, guys. This is a vintage J.A. Henkel's eight slot block. It is out of Germany. And. Oh. It sold for forty dollars ship, and then we got a pair of antique solid brass drawer pulls. I can't even see this bag is so beat so up. But they're in here, these little drawer pulls. And those ones sold for almost fourteen dollars ship. Uh, people buy old vintage ornate door pulls, handles, different stuff like that, knobs. Um, if you can find decorative ornate stuff, people will buy it, especially if it's super old. So. See the garage or estate sale might be worth picking up, or even that old piece of furniture on the side of the road. Yep, see some furniture that someone's throwing away or whatever, and the, the handles look real nice and old and like I said, ornate something cool. Get a screwdriver out. Just keep one in your car. Yep, take it <laughs> apart. Next up, we got a Panasonic Auto Stop sharpener, and that one sold for thirty dollars shipped. Thirty bucks. These pencil sharpener don't sell often, but they do sell some better than others. This one Next sold up, pretty quick. Yep, I did a bunch of laundry. And this was in that laundry. This is a vintage Pittsburgh Steelers towel. I don't know how old it is. There was no, like, uh, date on it. The tag really didn't show anything for a date. But it does look vintage, made in USA. Um, and it sold for? $24 ship. It was a dollar. So that was another good one. So we got class. a book. This is Tuesdays with Maury, an old man, a young man, and life's greatest lesson. And that one sold for seven and a half shipped. Not a whole lot, but that one's been up a minute, too. Then we got another $700 manual buy. This is a 2004 Acura TSX ETM, and that one sold for $40. I love when the electrical manual socks are the hardest to sell. They sell not always as much, but I love seeing them go because they don't sell as often. Next up, we got a Turk six device remote, and this one sold for $14 shipped. 14 bucks on its way. Remotes are so easy, guys. So right. easy. Next up, we have this Bugachi Uomo classic fit shirt it is multicolor rainbow yeah like kind of really like the cool. chevron pattern yeah and that one sold for brand 40, new with tag too new tag sold for 40 dollars got this from one of my sources i don't know how many we bought i bought like four or five of them for i think 30 bucks or something so next up get yourself a pair of crocs guys crocs people love crocs yeah her dad loves crocs now he didn't but now he does he's a believer he's a believer he wants to get some of the ones with the the soft insides now and he's like you know needs his but indoor they make outdoor them, ones they make them much more stylish than the original crocs and yep. those like the 
these are like women's croc sandals but they have like crocs ones like she said with the soft lining like the faux fur in there and different stuff some have the camo patterns all that but people will spend money on them so and they even have i've seen on tiktok where they have ladies they send it out to certain like etsy sellers and stuff and they'll bling out your crocs and you get the custom little notches into the little holes you know and they do oh, that why? little why guys just why? because you gotta have blinged out crocs and they're pretty cool i'm like okay. I, heard, I heard some nurses wear crocs yeah, but I think some of them were Crocs, I'm not mistaken. But these are like little sandals. Um, I think they were two bucks and they sold for? They sold for 25 and some change. And they should do a first class. I mean, they're light. They're not going to really break or anything. You should just go to shove them in a mailer and send them out. And then now we got a Harry Potter Chamber, Chamber of Secrets First American Edition. So and... apparently today is the day where we made some issues. Apparently this book got a little damaged right here. So Sad. I think I have one more copy, so we'll have to see if we do. But it did sell for 17 and a half shit. So we'll see about that one. Then we got GTA 5 for PS3, and this one sold for eight and some change, and it is disc only. Always sells. Then we got the Beatles, a hard day's night. We couldn't find it because it was already packed. It sold once before, and the person canceled before it got shipped out, so we got it here. Well, actually, I'm going to take it out of here to make sure it's still okay because Tori had it, so. And it sold for almost thirteen dollars shipped. And then is this we got one? a cassette. This is Jay -Z, Jay Z, the Dynasty Rock, the Dynasty Rock La Familia. Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. And that one sold for twenty dollars. Twenty bucks and the best offer. I had this at thirty, but sales were kind of slow at that point. We had not a lot of activity, so I took a twenty dollar offer to get out of here. Another Mario piece. So we've already sold um like blooper and blooper, the star, the star, and the what? penguin. The penguin. It's been Seven bucks. And this is Shy Guy on a snowboard, and he sold for ten dollars shipped. All three of those sold for about ten bucks, so thirty bucks in sales. Spent seven on the whole track. It was used, and um, I still have the track to sell, and then I have the two uh, car connects cars or whatever that are battery operated. And here's some K-pop for ya. More K-pop. This going is out. a new one us. One us, no diggity. One us, no diggity. <laughs> Limited edition Japan third single and so, it comes with the cvd c cvd cd and dvd <laughs> yep, and a little photo card oh and that one sold for 25 dollars shipped so so far we sold a 15 and a 25 we spent 30 so we're 40 bucks in sales not really in the profit just yet probably pretty close but not there just yet we get one more sale we're there we have a lot more to sell it'll take some time but it's kind of more of an education buy too <laughs> so i'm learning about uh k-pop you know me I like to be well-rounded Next up, we got Bone Thugs and Harmony Crossroads CD for ten and a half ships. Gotta love Bone Thugs and Harmony, man. Anyways, reminiscent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we got a Redline Hot Wheels, guys. This is a 1973 Breakaway Bucket Flying Colors Hong Kong vehicle. Yep. And that one sold for thirty-eight dollars. He's done really ships. well on the old Hot Wheels Redlines, and a lot of them are pretty worn, so. If you see them out there, you can get them for a good price, even if they're a little worn, it's worth it. Um, this one will show on the screen. It's not that big of a box, but no. it's kind of buried. This is an Emco signal generator. We don't even know what that means. It's brand new in the. It's band new in the box. Yep. Oh, it's band new. You put band new. No, it's wide band. <laughs> You're trying to make fun of me, but the, it's actually. Look but at you it. put. <laughs> no wide okay. band new open box. See, always looking for a way to try to just belittle her husband. <laughs> Welcome to marriage. Anyways, that one sold for $145 shipped. I'll take care of it. Just Apology a random at some old point. box that Cameron saw and bought. No, this came with the guy who sold us all the manuals. He brought over all the tools and stuff for an extra 200 bucks. Not our Toyota parts, the Hot Wheels red lines, oh. all the toys that I got, 200 bucks, and that was in there, and that's all for $145. Wow. So. Awesome. But yes, if I saw that random box now, now I would want to pick it up because I know it, that it's worth money. Mm. Okay, Eric Clapton. Are you ready? Say it. <laughs> no. If you're going to do it, you got to do it. I'll leave it in here. <laughs> this is Eric Clapton. This is an Say eight, it. This is an eight CD lot, and that one sold for $25 shipped. So this one is usually we get about four bucks a CD, maybe three bucks a CD. Um, it's like the lower, but usually we try to get four. But on this one, we're a little obviously we're less than four. It'd be thirty-two bucks. So sometimes, depending on who what the artist is, you might not get as much. But usually, the goal is four dollars a CD and a lot of at least four. So just keep that in mind. But we'll take it. Those I don't know what buy they came from, but they're out of here. 
Next up, we got an old tool. This is an Eastco USA 13 millimeter combo wrench, and that one is a bestie buy, and it sold for $15 shipped. 15 bucks, so easy. Then we got a Toastmaster Travel Personal Coffee Maker with the case, new in open box, and it sold for $45 shipped. This was five bucks. Uh, my source a while back had bought a unit, and it was all like dead stock, open box, different kinds of kitchen appliances and stuff. It was a great deal, because he's like, I just wanted out of here, gotta make space. Five dollars a box, pretty much. I just bought everything that he had. He just kept bringing in more stuff, and I just kept buying it, and we've made a lot of money. Most of it's gone. It's one of the few things we have left, so five into 45. We have a right-handed Pinfire Golf Putter Club. And we have a Callaway Big Bertha number 2 wood with a steel shaft. But it's not made out of wood, so it doesn't make sense when it tells you it's a wood. It's a fairway wood. They used to be made out of wood. Well, it's not, though. So they should change it. It's okay. Just go with it. But those two sold for $91 shipped. And these were same buyer so when we sell golf clubs rarely do they buy two clubs different mm, completely different, brands, different kinds different not like they everything. bought yeah two different tailor-made irons we had two completely different clubs they and they have two sets and they're trying to complete them i don't know and pinfire is a unique like some guy in california i think made the putters or whatever so anyways we're happy that i spent five on the putter and i think i spent five on this so 10 into 91 we'll take it then we got a Craftsman wrench lot. We've got about eight of them, I believe, in that lot. And they sold for $38. These are in perfect shape. They have somewhere, but I bought them in a big lot, lot them together. Figured I'd take the 38 bucks. These should go in a pad of flat rate. Usually we can get about 10 bucks a wrench, depending if it's a vintage one or not, just by itself. So could have made me a little bit more money, but I don't know how long they were taking to sell. And like I said, some of them condition-wise are a little rough. We're running out of items here, though. Then we got a pair of Coca-Cola license plates. These are sealed from the 90s. Yep. At least can't think so. It was and just based on the other ones out there. But they sold for $20 shipped for the pair. 20 bucks. Those should go in a mailer. And another yearbook. This is a 1967 Ganesha High School yearbook out of Pomona, California. And that one sold for $25. And the buyer did ask me on this one if the, some person was in there. And they were. I checked and they were. So... After they'd already bought it, of course, but some people ask you, hey, can you just send me a photo of the picture? Zoom in. I'm like, no, bro. I don't want to send you, you buy it. I'm like, I get if you want to ask if they're in there. I, that part I understand because you want to buy it to get a picture of your family member or whatever, but why should I be taking photos for everybody and sending them to you? I don't want to be me mean, but at the same time. We'll do it for the same price. You can get a yeah. digital copy. <laughs> you can just have the book and then go from there. So, anyways, that's almost it. One item left? Yeah, one item left. This is a... We gotta find I think it's in our newly listed stuff. So this I is a out. new... It's a used Breville porta filter. And our hands come together and we will be holder. one. Um, it makes... Co it's one of those coffee press things that you push it down a specific way and it makes press special espresso shots. Um, but it sold for $25 shipped. Yep, and I, that was just a random piece I had. I didn't know what it went to. I use Google Lens... To get an idea and then i found okay it looks like it's like one or two different ones and then i went on ebay and typed them in i found the one that exactly matched what i had and i'm like oh no i okay and then i found the one that exactly matched what i had and listed it so hopefully everything will go okay but it did some research i just did not want to throw it away i'm like i'm just kind of stingy like that yeah. i'm like i'm not going to give up on this item and this time it worked i figured it out well and i Honestly, some of the pieces were missing, which probably didn't help him because Tori got a hold of the bag that it was in and she had all the pieces out everywhere. The little metal, there's like little metal The little inserts. presses. Yeah. And so then Zane got a hold of them too and they were both using them as scoops to scoop up stuff. So, yeah. and then Cameron found one. He goes, oh, how did they even get this? And I'm like, oh no, that's another piece. Yeah, they've had that one. Honestly, the kids... I think it came with three pieces and Cameron yeah. only has two. So I listed it with just one. So now the person's lucky because they get an extra one. They get an extra one. But if it's you like find Christmas. those fancy coffee makers that have those little presses or whatever, you can sell that piece with the little inserts and you can do pretty well. Some of them go for 30, 35 bucks. So that's all we got, guys. We appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. We'll be back when anything else sells. Have a little bit of time left, but um, we'll see you guys if not in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.